saw that um, you saw that intro there, and I am going to show you how to make that in Motion Five. So um, yeah, you can follow me through. Um, there's some things that I do in this that you don't really need to do. However, I am doing them purely for emphasis, just so you understand exactly what I've done. Um, so we're going to start a new motion project. Go to 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, and motion project, and click open. Now I'm going to assume that you've watched some of my other videos, so you know quite a lot what I'm talking about because I've covered a lot of what we do here or techniques that we do here in other videos. So um, so please don't feel that I'm going too fast on purpose. I'm doing it because I assume that you've watched some of my other videos. Um, okay, we're going to go to um, fit our preview pane and then I am going to create a rectangle with my rectangle tool just below my layers pane right here. Left click and hold rectangle and then go to my top of my um, frame here or top of my um, viewing pane there and just cover my viewing pane click group in my layers pane go back to rectangle click f7 on your keyboard or select the heads of display little button here and then we're going to make that fill white turn off the outline and close our heads of display and that is a simple double click my group here call that background that is how you make a colored background really that easy and then i'm going to lock it so if I lock it with this little lock on the right hand side of the layers pane, the group, it actually locks everything within that group. So if there's a few things in this group, you could unlock it, lock them individually like this, but I want to lock the group as a whole. Um, and then if we selected it and tried to move it, it wouldn't move anywhere. Um, so it just keeps it, everything in, um, in, in play. Okay, now what we're going to do, we are going to create a new group by the little plus button here. And then select our tool text bar. Select uh, an area for our text and, um, and just write some text. I thought what I, was, I forgot what I was going to write. 13th design. That's what I'm going to write. It is there. It's just white. So I'm going to highlight it just so you can see it up there. Look. Click my group. Go back to my 13th design. Click my heads up display. Change the color to black. Make the size sort of this big and then turn the tracking down a little bit so it just drags the um, drags the letters in a little bit closer and then move this to sort of the center of my um, of my screen then what I'm going to do and just move this head of display I'm going to highlight the 13 to design text in my layers pane right click and duplicate that gives me a 13 to design copy clearly with this copy, what I'm then going to do, I'm going to drag it above this group here. Drag it above the group right there, and you get this like little blue, see this little blue line? And that means it's going to create a new group. So it's going to make that into a new group, as I've just shown there. So just drag and drop it, and it'll create a new group for you. With this text group, I'm going to select the group, double click, and rename it text. Close that. Now this group here is going to be my mask group. So I'm going to highlight it. Call it mask, and then highlight my um, 13th design copy, right? Just so you can see that I've got two variants of 13th design. Go back to my mask and highlight the group, and then go down here to my um, rectangle mask tool, left click and hold, drag down to Bezier mask and release. Now the Bezier mask, it just allows you to draw an area that you want to mask, and I'm just gonna do a simple sort of um, rectangle over here and join the tools up and then this is going to be my mask tool with that bezier mask i'm going to leave it on the text and i'll show you why in a minute i'm going to duplicate it with the mask copy select mask select back mask copy again drag it over to the right hand side of my text and rotate it sort of 180 degrees and leave it on the text so i've got one on the left and one on the right bezier mask on the left and bezier mask copy on the right Right, now we're going to go back to our 13th design copy in our um, layers pane here. And what I want to do, I'm going to go to library, I'm going to add a filter to this copy. Right, and that filter is simply going to be, if I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, it's going to be this gamma. So I'm going to apply that filter to my, um, to my 13th design copy, and I'm going to go to my inspector, go to my behaviours within my inspector, sorry, my filter within my inspector, and I'll see the gamma there. I'm gonna drag the filter up, and you'll see these two lines that come on onto my um, onto my um, text, my copy of my text. And these are simply 
this mask and this mask so they are simply the mask tools so if I made those bigger look I would have a bigger area that the gamma would cover okay so you could even leave it like that I really don't care it doesn't matter it's just a mask look and that's all I'm gonna do with the mask so that we know that mask is there now I'm gonna drag these um, Bezier mask and this Bezier mask copy just off my text slightly and just leave it as that right so that's our masks done at the moment all we need to do now is keyframe them, right but first what I want to do I want to make them three seconds I want to make this design this 13th design the copy highlight it in a layers pane and drag it in your timeline down to about three seconds the same with the masks make it so it doesn't appear until three seconds into the clip then the back end of it drag it so at seven seconds they are out of the clip same with the mask seven seconds it's out of the clip so now if we look at our and it's not perfect but I'm not I'm not too fussed it's just a bezier mask that's all um, so now if we look at our um, toolbar or our timeline at the bottom we've got the 13th design runs all the way along and we've got this mask sort of selection that goes on in the middle so now we're just gonna um, keyframe these bezier masks right I don't want that big so just give it to the shape that you want it and the um, I think on the original one I did sort of curves arcs don't worry about it I'm just using lines for this one for no for no reason at all drag my um, my timeline scrub it over to the um, over to the mask with the mask selected select record and then drag it up to around the timeline just past six seconds and drag move this mask over the text just to the other side of the text likewise with a mask copy right here press record press record so just deselect the record just to show you that I've got it selected drag my timeline up just as this finishes I want this one to start I want it to go just there at the bottom of that text now with these masks what I want to do is change the uh, change where they are so this and this I'm going to drag up and drag down you see so it tells me where this one starts that one starts there look and to change this I can just drag it back a little bit and drag this out a little bit just finish it there nicely at the end right now I'm going to deselect record and select my project in my layers pane drag my timeline down to the start and see what we've done so far so we've got the normal it's not started not started now we put noise over the top of this and this one <laughs> Do you like my um it was like a lightsaber i suppose like lightsaber lightsaber effect so yeah now we don't want the text to be there right away so what we're going to do in our timeline drag it out just for sort of half a second and then we want it to come in in a specific way so with our text let me just go back to our masks for a second I'll finish them totally so I'm gonna lock them close the group and that's the masks done so now I've gone back to my text and I've started um, I've highlighted my 13th design and I've dragged this just across half a second in my timeline so it doesn't start until there now we want it to come in a specific way so we're gonna to go to library behaviors now I want it to come in you could have it come in anyway if this approaching if you look in my just in the top left hand corner it approaches in um, you could have a range in so you could have lots of behaviors um, blasting so you could have sort of try and think of the the sounds in your head as well where you, that would be like the blasting I'm doing some really good um, sound effects in this video I think um, but I have to I have to keep it real because it's a bit long and it's gonna be the sort of 12 30 minutes I'm gonna look for something rotating that's what we had before rotating relaxing relaxing no, there's not a rotate oh there is there's rotating so I'm just drag that onto my 13th design original layer you notice I get it right here so this is where I am at the moment in the timeline this green bar and this is what happens there okay so I'm quite happy with that and we can just extend the process by dragging this and dragging it along right so if we um, 
click our project so we've got nothing selected you click play on that that's what it does nicely and then we zoom, zoom. <laughs> and then from there we can have a rotate out drag it onto the 13th design again but this time we've got to move it along here and the start of it wants to be there and just rotate it out okay so that's um, that should be quite nice I think and click play and rotate it oh but you notice right the 13th design is still there after the rotate out so what we have to do is get it on the timeline look where the rotate is out and it's there and close that um, text off right there so you won't get to see yeah so there's no um, nothing that you can see there right this video now is um, sort of 11 minutes long so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold it there right and I will um, my next video I will add the music and show you how to use the music or use the sounds with this um, with this design or with this intro in Motion 5 so I hope you've got this far okay if you have any questions please feel free to get back to me remember the locks and remember the um, what we do with the behaviors and, and all that good stuff and um, and the masks so if you have any problems please get back to me catch you all very soon thanks a lot for watching and i'll be back with the um, how to add the sound effects in motion next video bye